is up, Nuggets. It's your boy, Killer Pizza, here with a brand new video for you rascals and rapscallions out there. As always, I hope everybody's having a great weekend, watching some spooky movies. We are officially in Halloween Eve, September, though we're getting a bit of an Indian summer here in Michigan. Pretty damn hot out. I'm ready for the fall weather. And I got to apologize if I sound a little rough. These allergies are kicking my ass this time of year, but, you know, we the show must go on. But uh, anyways, I've had a pretty good weekend, a very uh, uneventful weekend, which is pretty good sometimes, you know, just to get caught up on some movies and just get some very important chillaxing in. I think I had one of the strangest double features last night, too. Hard Bodies and then Creed Part 2. Very random, right? So, uh, yeah, I just watched Hard Bodies and was in the mood to watch Creed 2. I actually think I'm going to go watch Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice tonight, go up to the movie theater, because I am going crazy with everyone's reviews. I'm trying to avoid... All the spoilers and everything. Hopefully it's a good movie. Just excited to check it out. But uh, anyways, enough with my typical ranting and rambling in the beginning of my videos. Let's get right to the action. As you guys can tell from the title, we have a physical media update. And these are one of my favorite videos, types of videos to make because who doesn't like a mail day getting brand new physical media? I got a lot of new releases, a lot of cool stuff. So I think about 14 titles. With that being said, let's get right into it. So, first up, I got a couple titles I picked up from Walmart. Uh, I have Your Next, the Steelbook. Now, these are really cool. I would have gotten more of these if I didn't already own them. This is one of them I didn't own. I kind of wanted to get Wolf Creek, but was a bit on the fence about it. This packaging is really awesome, like the Halloween kind of packaging. And I actually never heard of this movie before. It, it seems pretty good. The selling point... To me, it was Barbara Crampton, isn't it, I believe? And who doesn't like Barbara Crampton? That is one beautiful lady, even at her age now. So, going to check that out. Excited for that. And here is another Walmart pickup. The 7 movie collection of Tremors. Steelbook. Oh, that's pretty cool, right? I wish I would have grabbed the uh, 4K in the Chunky Box from Arrow Video of Tremors Part 1 when it came out. But I didn't end up getting it. Tremors Part 1 is one of my favorite horror movies. I watched it so many times growing up. Part 2 is pretty entertaining as well. And I don't know if I've ever seen any of these sequels and whatnot. But had to pick this up. And uh, I just got to clear something up too. Like with all the talk of these steelbooks and everything. You know, I, when I'm picking these up from Walmart. I'm not the biggest steelbook fan necessarily. Uh, I just live in an area where there's not a lot of physical media. The, the closest Best Buy when they had the steelbooks was pretty far away. And my two Walmarts notoriously never have any physical media. And once they took over kind of the rights of the Steelbooks from Best Buy and physical media, you'll get lucky every once in a while. And when I went up there and grabbed these two titles this previous time, my Walmart was stacked for once. So many good titles in there. I tried to get that uh, Steelbook of Late Night with the Devil, but I couldn't find it. I had a chance to order it online through Walmart, and I, I didn't pull the trigger, and I wish I really wish I would have. Okay, anyways, next title up is an Umbrella release for Bully. Now, I have never seen this movie. I know I really enjoyed Kids, which is from the same director. If you've never seen this movie, check it out. It's really fucked up. And apparently this one is as well, based on a true story about some bully who's like sexually harassing some of the girls and beating up some of the boys in this friend group, and they devise a plan to murder him pretty much i've seen the clip of the actual murder scene and it's pretty intense and like i said i'm a big fan of kids and uh so i'm excited to check this out and something that drives me crazy too like because i have to alphabetize my collection you know we all have a method to our collecting but wouldn't that just look so good next to each other on the shelf but since i have issues i can't do that i have to keep them alphabetical and separate so, Bully. I think the only exception is, like, Escape from New York. I have that before Escape, or Escape from L.A. I don't know. Or I have First Blood in the Rambo movies in order. I don't know. There's a method to the madness. But, anyways, okay. Now we have a Scream Factory release right here. This just came out a little over a week ago. Poltergeist 2. Now, I was excited to pick this one up because, as you guys know, Poltergeist 2 and 3 through Scream Factor have been out of print for a long time. That is something really nice when they do release these 4Ks. You know, they keep releasing the same stuff over and over again, but if you weren't 
able to get some of these releases that are out of print now. It's pretty nice when they come out on 4K. Uh, been a long time since I've seen this movie. I have the same opinion as everybody else. That old man in here is really, really creepy. And look at the damage on my slip. I debated on returning this and get a new one. But you know what? I'm not going to be that strict about it. You know, I know some people like to bag their movies, which I find kind of strange. But hey, to eat your own, you know what I'm saying? So Poltergeist 2 with a little bit of damage on the sleeve. Not, not too mad about that. Now here is one I have double dipped on, mostly because I just got Poltergeist 2 on 4K, so I ended up picking up Poltergeist 1. Like I said, I already own the Blu-ray, but this was and is on sale still on Amazon for $11.99, along with like The Lost Boys, The New Evil Dead. There's quite a few 4Ks that are pretty cheap, which if you don't own Lost Boys on 4K, go grab that now for $12. And I, I couldn't turn this down, especially since I got the second one on 4K, and I was reading the reviews... And one guy in particular on Amazon made a comment that this is a 10 out of 10 when it comes to 4K. So I said, fuck it. You know, I try not to get everything on 4K, but uh, if I'm going to double dip, it's got to be one of my favorites and a classic. And isn't this rated PG, I believe? Yeah, PG. Ain't that fucked up, man? Like all the shit that happens in this movie, like the guy ripping his face off in the mirrors is PG. <laughs> Things were different back in the day. Okay, next up. We have a movie I've never heard of before until my good friend Carlos told me about this the other night, about a week ago, when we were uh, texting each other. Copland. So it says Sylvester Stallone, Harvey Cattell, Ray Liotta, and Robert De Niro. When he told me that, I was like, wow, I never heard of this before. So this was like 10 bucks on Amazon. I had to pick it up. I uh, can't turn down a recommendation for my good friend Carlos. he uh been friends with him for... Whew, 15 years that's kind of my movie nerd friend that's uh that I actually hang out with you know uh i know he went to film school i think when i'm all done with the pro wrestling we have a couple scripts we've worked on a cop drama and a comedy movie and one day we're gonna try to make a damn movie but copland okay now here one here's one i was very excited for i wanted to see this in the theater but i never got a chance to or at least i just didn't go and that is the garfield movie now, I am a huge sucker for these animated movies. I love Super Mario Brothers. I love the new Ninja Turtles movie. I didn't see the best reviews on this, but I had to pick it up anyways. I am a cat person, as you can tell from my shirt, and I love Garfield. I identify with them. Uh, I hate Mondays, and I love lasagna as well. So even though this didn't get the best reviews, I'm still excited to check this one out. Garfield. Okay, now, here is one i seen, I forget the guy's name on YouTube, that was talking about Nightmare on Elm Street ripoffs, and this is one I've been wanting to pick up through Vinegar Syndrome for a long time. Don't panic. This is pretty much a ripoff of Nightmare on Elm Street. It says it right on the back, too. A bonkers tribute to a Nightmare on Elm Street. But from what I've seen this guy's review, this looked pretty dang good, so I decided to pick it up. Uh, I, need, I always need more horror in my collection. A bunch of this kid's friends on his birthday go play with this Ouija board, and they summon, like, this demon guy in the front. And then I also don't know the name of the director. Ruben Galindo Jr.? So I picked up this one as well from him, Grave Robbers. Uh, looks very gruesome. Said this is uh, very violent, a lot of good practical effects. I mean, I don't really have to describe what the movie's about. It kind of speaks for itself, Grave Robbers. But these are two that I was wanting to pick up for a while because I have Cemetery of Terror from the same director, and I really like that movie, so I'm excited to check these out. Love watching new horror. Speaking of new horror, I have a couple uh, recommendations that I got from Dead Pit. And when I say new horror, I mean new to me, stuff I've never seen. You know, You know how it is. Sometimes you feel like you've seen everything, and then when something pops up you never heard of, you got to jump right on it. So, this is one that uh, they were talking about on Dead Pit in their Summer Slasher series, which was amazing. I loved it so much. Uh, they were talking about Don't Go Into the House. Now, I guess this isn't, isn't as much of a horror movie, more of like a thriller, you know, it's about this guy whose mom dies and he starts, he loses it a little bit. And he starts lowering people into his house and burning them like in this inferno room. Like that you can see on the cover, like that looks really gruesome right there. 
but I never heard of this one before, and the way they described it made it sound pretty good, so I had to pick it up. So, yeah, this, this looks pretty interesting. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of Dead Pit Radio, but if uh, you don't know about those guys, Crazy Kentuckian and Uncle Bill, I highly suggest going and subscribing to their channel, watching some of their videos. Their live streams are amazing. Those guys are pretty much my all-time favorite horror YouTube channel, Dead Pit Radio. Those guys are the OGs, so shout out to CK and Uncle Bill. You guys, you guys rule, boss. And here's another one I got as a recommendation from watching Dead Pit. CK uh, reviewed this one of The Woman on 4K. I can't turn down new 4K Arrow video releases. I just love their packaging so much. And this looks like a pretty messed up movie of this woman who's like the last woman in this cannibalistic tribe that this uh, southern family capture. Like this, this, the dad who's like a lawyer, he's going hunting and he finds this woman, chains her up, and he's trying to like make her civil again. And I guess he gets like a like a, a love for her or something, and she escapes and goes on a murder spree or something like that. This also has the movie that came before it, The Offspring on 4K in the two-disc set, which that's pretty cool to have two movies like that in one, but this just looked pretty bonkers, pretty fucked up, so I decided to check it out. The Woman. Okay, we got three more releases. So here's one I will double dip on always. As a lot of you guys know, my very favorite movie of all time, Return of the Living Dead. I have the 4K, I have the Blu-ray, now I have this 4K Steelbook, which is very, very beautiful. And you know, I ordered this one, paid an extra 10 bucks to have it shipped to me a couple weeks ago. And when I went up to Walmart, they had one copy of this up there. I'm like, damn it, I could have just grabbed it then. To be quite honest, I almost grabbed that copy too, just to hold on to. I'm not big on like selling stuff on ebay like that and buying doubles to overcharge people for you know that's bullshit you know what i mean like when i went to get that terrifier 2 vhs there was none left and you know some asshole along with uh, the devil inside you know some asshole grabbed the whole stack and just sold them on ebay i think that's bullshit man you should just be able to enjoy movies you know but the return of the living dead steelbook if anybody did need that steelbook though i, I wouldn't be opposed to picking it up and doing a exchange cash app me or something i'll ship it to you or i might just keep it for myself okay now here is one i haven't seen in a long time i was super excited about this release when it first got announced kino lorber they released some of the most random and badass titles like when they put kindergarten cop on 4k like i fucking love that movie and i love this one too terror goes into overtime in Sudden Death with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Pretty much Jean-Claude Van Damme and Die Hard. That's pretty much what it is. They're at uh, the, the finals of the Stanley Cup playoffs, and the president gets, like, kidnapped. And there's a bunch of uh, criminals or whatever hold them hostage, and they want a bunch of money, like, put it in the bank account to save the president's life. Jean-Claude Van Damme's got to save the day. This is always a good time. It's been a very long time since I've seen this movie. Excited to check it out again. All right, and the last title I have right here, speaking of movies I haven't seen in a long time, The Mexico Trilogy from Arrow Video. This has El Mariachi, Desperado, and Once Upon a Time in Mexico. I think Desperado is the one in 4K. They're not all in 4K, but oh well. I'm going to open it up right now. I like to slip over the actual box set. <clears throat> And, you know, so you don't got to hang on to that J card, even though I do. Let's see. Nice chunky box. Love how Arrow Video does that. So we got the three movies right there. Yeah, like I said, you got to love the thick boxes. Like when I got the Rocky collection, it's like, why couldn't they have just done something like that? You know what I mean? So it looks like they got a... Poster for Desperado. Little booklet. Yeah, this is really badass artwork right here. El Mariachi. There's the special features. Desperado in 4K. 
So I'm a hike in 4K. I can get down with that. And then, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. So I'm excited to check these out. I will probably try to do a triple feature of these in due time. You know how it is as a collector. You could get, you could pick something up and it sits on your shelf for a year before you watch it. You know, it's, I just got to be in the mood, you know. I think a big part of why I love collecting movies is just how much I love going to the video store back in the day. You know what I mean? You could just uh, browse around and everything, you know. I've had movies that sat on my shelf for a long time and then as I'm scrolling, I'm like, oh yeah, that's the one. Now it's time. <laughs> but anyways, I have a uh, three more things I want to show you. So this past weekend... IWE was at the Oscada Rock Fest, and we, we wrestled at the Rock and Roll Show, which was a lot of fun. Uh, and my friends James and Jenny bought me a couple things for my birthday, which was about a month ago, which I really appreciate that. They got me this Chucky vinyl figure, which is awesome. You don't fuck with the Chuck. They got me this such a strange hat they got me, but this is so so weird and cool. It's like Chucky's face. I know when, when Jenny gave me this, she goes, look, you can pull it down and it's Chucky's face. <laughs> That's pretty cool, you know, and I, I told him, you know, I, I appreciate it so much. It's just very thoughtful whenever somebody thinks about you and gets you something, you know. And Speaking of that, I was shocked by this. Uh, my buddy Mike, he's he started off as like a, a wrestling fan, a big fan of my tag team, the Cream Street Mafia, but I consider him a friend at this point, really cool dude. He said when he was down in Kentucky, I don't know what he was doing down there exactly, but he said he thought of me when he seen this, which is awesome, the thing. I've thought about buying this for a long time. Look at that. Kurt Russell. The Thing is one of my top three favorite horror movies of all time. So this is really cool. I hate how these NECAs, though, have the front deal right here. I wish it was off so you could just display them like that, you know? So I actually think, it might be sacrilege, I think I'm going to open this. I'll save the box, but I think I'm going to put uh, Kurt Russell on my shelf somewhere. If I have space. I'm running out of space. Every collector's problem. But, uh, yeah, thanks again for the gift, Michael, Jenny, and James. Appreciate it. Sure know how to make a guy feel uh, special. And also, I want to give a shout out to my buddy here, Dane, who's a watcher of the channel and everything. This is one of the coolest moments happened last weekend where uh, it was an outdoor show, so there wasn't much room to change and everything. So I went and sat on this picnic table with my whole squad of the greater good. Uh, uh, Dirty Dill, uh, Nick Baker, Big Bill Blackwell, Craig Stossel, Dan Tanner, we're all, we're all just sitting at this table chilling this guy comes up and looks at me, and he, he says, oh, hey, I, I watch your YouTube channel, uh, Dane, I believe, right? And that was just so cool, man. You know, like, my friends thought that was the coolest thing, that somebody came up and knew me from my YouTube, and we took a picture together and everything, and I just want to let you know, man, I really appreciate that shit. You know, like, I wish we could have chopped it up a little more, but, like, my match was, like, in five or ten minutes, so I was kind of in match mode, you know what I mean? Plus, I was on two and a half hours of sleep, literally. Because it was a really early show and I worked late and couldn't go to sleep. But, dude, I appreciate that so much coming up and saying something. Like, that doesn't stroke my ego in any way whatsoever. If anything, it makes me feel more humble. Because when I made this channel originally, I've told this story before. I started recollecting, collecting my whole life, but I started recollecting. My, my collection kind of got damaged and lost through all the years of moving and whatnot. And I watched Street Trash on Blu-ray. And I thought, I don't have anyone to talk to the, talk to about this. You know, like my closest friends like movies, but not like street trash. So I made the channel just to, to talk to you guys and have people to talk horror with and everything. And I appreciate each and every one of you that get engaged in the conversations with me. So to have somebody come up to me and, and talk to me about, you know, just say they watch my shit. Like, I appreciate that so much. And uh, I know he said he came he came to a Super Shogun show before. If you come to another one of those... Uh, I'll come out at the end of the show and we can bullshit a little more. Like I said, my mind, I was so focused on the match that I, I had going, you know, only my second match back since injury. So, but yeah, I really appreciate that. And each and every one of you that watch my videos, you know, you guys fucking rule. So, uh, the reason I keep doing this stuff, but I'll tell you what, dude, when, when you came up and said something to me that got my blood pumping and 
Uh, my opponent's got a worse ass kicking because my adrenaline went up after that. So thanks again. And thank you guys for everything. Everyone that watches my shit, I really appreciate it. But other than that, uh, that's about it. Hopefully you guys like the pickups. Let me know in the comments what you've picked up lately. Let me know if you want me to review any of these movies. Let me know what the weirdest double feature that you have, that you've watched. Something that you like to watch together or whatnot. Other than that, hopefully everybody's having a good one. Good one like I said in the beginning. If you've watched this long, uh, you're a real one. But uh, with that being said, blood, guts, gore. I'll check you guys next time.